Hey guys, we're going to be going back to the Shinman Dragon for another rank 1 clear. Um, now initially I was going to focus on doing a clear without Kaito, but a lot of you guys really wanted a no chow clear. So we're going to do the no chow rank 1 strategy with all modifiers turned on. And we're going to be using Maeve instead of Chow, and we're going to be using Freavia instead of Esther to give you guys, you know, some mix and matching for your team building. Um, so using Maeve instead of Chow is absolutely a downgrade, and it's a much harder clear doing it this way. But, you know, if you don't have Chow, you don't have Chow. Still very doable, and I'm going to show you how. Okay. So we're going to start off with Kresnik in the shift form, and he's going to Stimulant on turn 1 to get that morale going. Um, Freevia in the base form is... not yet, actually. We're going to shift Sky and do her shifted LB. Now we're going to use Freevia in the base form to Ice Field, and then um, Preparation... Oops, I'm doing it wrong. Ice Field, Riposte, and Preparation times 2. Kaito is going to just do deep uh, submersion three times to break the boss. Roberta is going to morale, dragon killer, and emissary of demise. Maeve is going to natural wall. We're going to wild barrier for the mitigation. And we're going to effective strategy for the general mitigation. Okay, so... Um, uh, keep in mind, uh, Maeve's mitigations are a lot worse than Chow's, so the turn one, um, Cruel Fey, is really going to hurt. So make sure you've got your team set up to where you can spread it out. For example, we've got um, uh, Roberta is going to take two of them, while, nope, Esther, I'm sorry, Freavia is going to take two of them, and Freavia is probably going to gut. She'll survive the first one, the second one will probably gut her. But that's okay, we've got Guts on her. So, here we go. And, let's see. One, two... Yep, Guts that one. That's okay, though. That's okay. And then we're evading the Tail Lashes with the Accuracy Bam. And there it is. You know, pretty painful. Definitely pretty painful, but we've got it done. So, now we're going to go to the base form with Sky, where we're going to Sharp Spear and then just hit the boss twice to the base form with Kaito, where we're going to um, receding, swelling, and cascading, to the shift form with Freavia, where we are going to, let's see, end guard, flick, and bind, uh, Roberta to the base form, where we're going to LB, Maeve to the base form, Make sure Maeve is not wearing her TMR or STMR in either form, in fact. Um, in the base form, we are going to Wild Guard for the Mirage, Hunting Call, and Practice Lore for um, more mitigation for herself. And Kresnik will Arcane Antioxidant to cure the Imperils and resist buffs. Don't worry about free of you, she is fine. We're taking no damage this turn. We're going to have 5 stack Mirage from Maeve. Okay, so Maeve will be tanking the damage on this turn. Um, I didn't say what the boss said for the Simon Says thing. Um, quite often, we will just have the boss mana drain us. And it's not that big a deal. We'll just resist for the most part, and we should have mana left over. Um, if your party is being drained to zero mana, you need more bulk on your party. But if you get mana drained, you should be okay here. Uh, let's see. So now to the shift form with Maeve where we're going to kill her buff with urine natural, and that's mostly for the mitigation, that's actually racial mitigation as well. Uh, morale fill and um, strategy. Let's see, Kaito to the shift form, where we're going to downpour, uh, let's see, deep submersion and aqua infusion. Sky is going to shift the LB this turn. Uh, let's see. To the base form, where we're going to have Freevia. 
um, just refresh the field and prep a few times. If your team is mana drained a lot, you can use Azure Remise. Notice that it only costs 10 MP. That's because I gave her lots of mana reduction. That way, if the team is mana drained, you can still use this to get some mana back, like, like that, for example. Now we're going to use Kresnik's Shifted LB. It's going to heal the party. And Roberta, in the base form, is going to morale fill, use her Magnus to refill LB gauge, and Mega Breath to get ready for bursting on turn 6. We're going to turn 6 to give our party more time to fill the morale gauge, but you know, we're not using Chow. Okay. Uh, the boss says do a normal attack. We're not going to do that. We're going to get mana drained. Um, doing things like normal attacks and all, just waste your turn, basically, and I can't afford that in this clear. So we're just going to deal with the mana drain. It's going to suck, but we are, we, are, we are built for it. It's okay. So Maeve in the shift form this turn is going to LB. That's going to give us a really big barrier because this turn is going to be kind of painful, as you can see here. Um, Kaito is going to, let's see, what are we doing? We're going to Deadly. Oh, wrong skill. We're going to Deadly Stream, we're going to Natural Flux, and we're going to Man of Few Words. Uh, Sky is going to LB again. Roberta in this form is going to, or going to shift to the other form, where we're going to Morale Fill, Insect Killer for the Big Spirit buff, and we're going to um, use Dragoon's Aim. Let's see, Freevia in the shift form is going to Magnus to break, End Guard and Flick, and Kresnik is going to triple. We're going to Medicinal Mastery to raise the party. And then Potion and Remedy. Okay, so this is the Cruel Prey turn again. Um, Freavia is probably going to take two of them and potentially could even get killed. But again, we have Guts on her, so it's okay. There's the Mana Drain. No, just one of them. Um, because we had the big barrier from Maeve. So Maeve isn't totally worthless. She's just not as good as Chow. Anyway, we still have Mirage as well, as you can see here. Um, Sky lost her Mirage because she has Auto Mirage when she shifts. Kind of a headache. It overrides your good Mirage, but whatever. Anyway, so we're going to be killing or bursting on turn 6. So we're still setting up for the moment. So to the base form with Sky, where we're going to Tyvis' Spirit. Um, to the base form with Freevia. And we got Mana Drain, so we're going to use Freevia to... Um, what are we doing in turn 5? Yeah, we're going to just Magnus and then use Remise a few times to fill mana for the party. And again, she has um, lots of mana reduction, so we can easily cast that. Roberta to the... Nope, stay in the shift form. Stay in the shift form. We're going to Morale and double hit. And if I can ever click. So just Morale fill, and then just hit the boss twice with uh, Charging Raid. Let's see, Kresnik on this turn is going to LB. That's going to heal the party. Maeve is going to... Uh, morale fill. We're going to cover and we're going to strategy. And Kaito is going to go to the base form where we're going to Magnus. We're going to downpour and we're going to cascading slash. A lot of setup, but yeah. Okay. And we'll be bursting next turn. Use a Limit Burst, he says. Your wish is my command. And some attacks on Maeve. Maeve is a little bit less bulky than Chow as well, but again, it's not really too big a deal. Okay, so we're going to Roberta to the base form and Tag Chain. Do our burst, and again, the damage on this fight is pretty, pretty easy, so we're going to very safely over overcap, I think. Going to LB with Sky. Freevia is going to shift an LB, even though we're not using Esther. Um, we are using the field from uh, from Sky. Or, no, the field from Freevia. Uh, we're going to LB the whole back row. And then Kresnik will Extreme Nova with our Kaito. Um, let's go ahead and do our attack and magic buff. Okay, so we're going to send. We're going to click Freevia first. Then we're going to click Roberta like almost immediately after that. Then we're going to click our chainers like a split moment after that. And that should be all our chains. So there we go. There we go. And there we go. And this should be our damage cap 
hopefully. We'll see at the end. Um, now, if the boss had said use a magic attack, we could use... Whoops, don't, don't use that. We could use Gifted Swing. This is a magic attack. Um, if the boss said use a normal attack, we could we could use a normal attack with uh, with Mae. If the boss said use a physical, we did. LB, we did. Um, if the boss said guard, we could guard with uh, Maeve. But we don't, need, we don't really need to do any of that because he said use an LB, so whatever. So we'll just do some stuff to fill morale gauge. Anyway, here's the threshold. Everybody's going to die and re-raise. Okay, there we go. So, now let's get set up for bursting the boss again. So, this is a Kaito strategy, so we're going directly into bursting again. So, Kaito is going to shift, and we're going to use his Magnus to get rid of the boss's buffs. So, we're going to Unpredictable Tide. Then, we're going to use Deadly Stream and Natural Flux to do the big breaks. Free Evia is going to do the shift form and do the stat, stat breaking with her Magnus, and then End Guard and Flick. Basically just doing all the setup again. Uh, Sky in the base form will Magnus and hit the boss twice. Sky is using an Ice Weapon in the base form. Uh, Roberta in the base form is going to Morale Fill. We're going to Mega Breath, and this is important. We're going to support from the Skies for the 5 stack Mirage. Very important because we don't have Mirage, and the boss will be dealing a bunch of AoE physicals this turn. Uh, Maeve is going to go to the shift form and make sure you do these specific skills. We're going to do your natural for the racial kill, the racial mitigation, practice lore for the personal mitigation, and natural wall. Notice we're not buffing the party's mitigation at all. That's because the party's taking zero damage, but Maeve is going to be hit really hard this turn. And then Kresnik can do um, just kind of whatever. Uh, we'll remedy for the immunity. We'll do um, Potion to top the party up, and we'll do Supplement just for whatever. Uh, and we're going to save the big stat buff this turn. We're not going to use it on this round. Maeve should be fine, overall. It's going to be a bunch of physical damage this turn. Now, notice we didn't use physical mitigation this turn, which is a little bit of an ouch. But um, we do have auto buff, um, auto protect on Maeve. So some big hits. Um, Maeve shouldn't die. Most of the attacks are missing because of the accuracy down. Now, that is a little bit of RNG there. Um, you know, it's possible your Maeve dies because, eh, not as good as Chow. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was, it was fine for the most part. It'll usually work. Anyway, now we're going to use Maeve to do, um, let's see, Wild Barrier. We're going to Morale Fill. And we're going to do Strategy because this turn we are going to be getting the Cruel Prey which is going to be very painful. That's that's the, the big attack that the boss does. Um, we're still setting up, and it looks, it, looks, it looks like we got mana drained again. So let's go ahead and use Resurging Will to fill some mana. Let's use Kresnik to fill mana as well. Let's go ahead and double potion with Kresnik. And let's re-raise Maeve because bad things might happen. Let's also go ahead and do the defense and spirit buff this turn, because this turn is going to be the Cruel Prey. Let's do... Um, the attack and magic buff as well. Let's also go ahead and do the accuracy thing for morale gain. Uh, Roberta will quad mystic. Let's see. Oh, we need to do the imbues and all. So to the base form with, um, what's this girl's name? Whatever. Uh, let's Magnus Freevia field. Um, if you need mana, you can remise. If you don't need mana, you can do uh, preparation. Kaito, in the base form, is going to... And this is important. We're going to Aquas Infusion himself. We're going to Downpour. And we're going to Torrential Force. We are not going to use the Magnus this turn. That's very important. Um, and then Sky is going to shift the LB. So we're going to go ahead and cap Sky's LB on uh, Roberta's tag chaining. So Roberta, then Sky will go ahead and cap that LB. Now, as you can see, Sky is pretty much carrying this clear. Almost did it by herself. Again, we could have possibly maybe finished off the boss, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to be fine. So here comes the cruel, the cruel praise. Our guts have been refreshed, so even if anyone did get killed, you know, quote-unquote killed that turn, guts would have saved you, so you're okay. Maeve has taken a severe beating because why is Maeve not that good? You know, who knows? But whatever. Now it's time to finish the boss. So we're going to attack and magic buff. We're going to reload you. Sky can just triple bolting. Uh, Kaito is going to go to the shift form this round. 
where we're going to triple Blade Storm, which has been modifier boosted. Not all the way, but good enough. Um, I was going to say we're going to LB with Frievia, but uh, she seems to be a little bit short. Um, I can I, I can fix that with uh, with Kresnik. So Kresnik will normal attack. There we go. LB ready for Frievia. Good to go. And Maeve can go to the base form and just support chain with us. Let's, whoops, let's double bolting, and let's go ahead and morale fill as well. Um, so, okay, so we'll just uh, send her, send Roberta, send everyone else, and, you know, the boss is at 3%, so super easy. There it is. And there's our perfect score with Maeve. Definitely a more challenging clear, not using Chow. Um, Freavia instead of Esther may have been an upgrade overall, because while Esther does more damage than Freavia, um, using Freevia allowed us to free up a lot of actions on Kaito, which let Kaito use literally all his buffs where he didn't on the previous run. So there's our perfect score, you know, 1.12 million score total. That's a rank one clear. Here's the breakdown. Um, you know, Kaito and Freevia were busy buffing quite a, quite a few rounds, uh, and Kaito only got one LB because we didn't we didn't really have the flexibility to use both LBs with this party because we didn't have the water the water set up and all that. You know, we, we had to go to turn six for the first burst, which kind of threw off the timing for Kaito, but it's fine. Um, anyway, Roberta and Sky heavily carry this clear. Uh, hopefully everyone has Sky at this point, and um, yeah, Roberta, you know, is a little bit newish, but still, very good unit. Let me go ahead and show you the gear we used for this. Um, I don't want any of this. And okay, yep, yeah, there's a rank one without Chow. So I will be spending time now working on a no Kaito clear. That's going to be a little bit trickier, but we're going to work on it. So here's the party. So in both forms. Now because Maeve is the stupidest design ever, if you're using her TMR or STMR, anytime you brave shift her, she gets rid of her good cover and puts up a garbage cover. That's probably the wrong type. So you can't use her TMR or STMR if you're brave shifting her. It is the stupidest, worst design ever, but that's the way it is. Um, now, you need to give her auto protect in the base form. Give the base form auto protect, because that's gonna be important for the way this, this works out. Just trust me, it's gonna be important. Um, give her a good amount of defense and spirit, and I think Maeve has 50 evasion naturally. All you need is 50, I think, I think she has 50 naturally. Also, passive provoke. Shift form is geared pretty similar, you know, 5,500 defense and spirit. And I gave her future emperor. That way she counters with AOE mana restore and the shift form because we're eating a lot of mana drains on this clear and the mana drains are a headache. You know, if you're using Chow, the mana drains are a joke. If you're not using Chow, the mana drains are annoying, um, but not too bad. And, and we actually got two or three mana drains and we dealt with them no problem. It's just a, just a headache, that's all. Uh, Kresnik, 50% or better evasion in both forms. Gotta have at least 50, that's all you need. Mana reduction is a little bit helpful if you need. Lightning Fast Legend, quite helpful for support chaining, or required in fact. Um, shift form, give the shift form some LB fill, like Dragon's Brush. Um, I used Kyrie's STMR, if you don't have that, something like you know Riku's STMR, uh, the Final Fantasy X2 Riku I'm talking about. Uh, some mana refill if you can get it and mana reduction helps as well. Uh, Roberta in the base form has a source of guts. Other than that, just you know, pure killers versus spirit and whatever. Um, spirit and dragon, maxed on everything. Uh, base form has no evasion, that's okay. Shift form has 50% evasion, a source of guts, and as much spirit and HP as you can fit in the shift form. So 50 evasion, um, We've got guts from the Midsummer Boater, and then you know 2,500 spirit, 3,700 or 1,000 HP. Make sure you door pot your Clash of Wills units, and there you go. Uh, Tidebringer Kaito in the base form. Unfortunately, he is annoying to try to gear to because I want him to soak these stupid, cruel phase, but I can't. <laughs> I can't gear him at EX2 to be high enough in any stat. So, unfortunate. He does have Guts and Evasion, but uh, he never actually used it. Shift Form has a source of Guts, and he doesn't have high enough stats in any category to eat any of the Cruel Phase. 
at EX2. Feels real bad. On the other hand, he is maxed on everything. So, maxed OB, maxed Dragon, and maxed Fairy. Freebia in the base form. Guts, um, decent spirit and HP. She takes the MP as well as the magic... Um, uh, the magic... Uh, Cruel Fae. I couldn't think of the name. Cruel Fae. Uh, as you, okay, whoops, whoops. Uh, lots of mana reduction. So formal suit and three stars because she's going to be our primary source of refilling mana with Remise. That fills 125 MP for the party per cast. And we can quad cast that if need be. And it only costs 10 MP if you've got 80% MP reduction, which we do. There you go. And then shift form is LB damage versus, uh, you know, d uh, dragons and spirit. I think she was a tiny speck short on one of the killers. Yeah, 275 dragon, 300 fairy. Pretty close, though. And there we go. Sky, base form. Using an elemental weapon of ice, water, or dark. Very important. A uh, little bit of mana reduction. She didn't qualify for any of the cruel phase, so she never got hit. Typhus of spirit. Uh, I gave her Guts in case. We never used it. Shift form is just damage. Uh, give her a source of Guts just to be safe. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, damage versus the thing. And you saw the breakdown. She did the majority of the damage. Her and Roberta. And there's the clear. Okay, I'll post a turn chart in the comments. There's the rank one no chow, no Esther clear. Um, I'm definitely taking a break today. I've been do doing this boss for quite a while today. Uh, so sometime this weekend, I will work out a budget run. A no Kaito rank, I'll try a no Kaito rank one clear, and I will work on a like fast turn one or turn two pearl farming team. Anyway, see you this weekend.